Seven of Charlotte's largest independent medical practices are now requiring their employees to get vaccinated. Now this includes Ortho Carolina and Tryon Medical Partners. Workers all have to be vaccinated by October the 31st. Charlotte City government employees also being required to get the vaccine. The city plans to hand out forms about this next week, and then workers will have 10 days to fill those out and return them. So what happens if you don't want to get vaccinated? In some cases, you could be terminated. But if you lose your job because you refuse to get the shot, experts say you likely will not be able to collect unemployment benefits. Our Genevieve Curtis explains that this is something that many people don't realize. With more and more employers requiring vaccinations, we went to the experts to find out what this means for employees who decide they don't want to get the shot. I've actually been shocked by the quantity of calls that we've received. Employment attorney Joshua Van Campen says about 30% of the calls he's receiving right now are from people wanting to know what their legal options are because their employer is mandating COVID vaccinations. I think people are becoming very surprised to learn that they don't have a lot of legal options. From government agencies to private businesses, more and more companies are requiring their employees to show proof of vaccination in order to keep their jobs. Novant and Atrium are requiring their employees to show proof of vaccination within the next few months. Hundreds have protested that mandate. And while they can demonstrate legally, Van Campen says, employees don't have much of a case. He says employers are well within their rights to mandate vaccinations as a reasonable workplace requirement. There are limited exceptions, though, to keep your job without getting the jab. And that's one, if they have a bona fide religious objection. Uh, and then two is if they have a specific disability. I've yet to come across a valid religious objection to taking a vaccine. And if your employer requires vaccinations and you lose your job because you chose not to get vaccinated, Van Campen says don't bank on getting unemployment benefits either. He says that's because you're not eligible for that money. And to me, if you have a job and then your employer says, hey, we want you to keep working here, but we're going to need you to take a vaccine, and then you refuse to take the vaccine, I think the department would look at that and say that you have voluntarily became unemployed. While many unemployment lawyers are getting calls from workers weighing their legal options, Van Campen says it will be hard to find an attorney willing to sue an employer over a vaccine requirement. If you are going to go to court about this, you, you need to be sympathetic and ask yourself, you know, as a judge who's lost a family member to COVID or a juror who's lost a family member to COVID going to be sympathetic to you because you refuse to take a vaccine? Yeah. Probably not. And Van Campen does expect this to become the trend. So those who aren't vaccinated, they may want to start thinking about what their employment options may look like. Back to you.